Today's Toy Spot, we are having a look at the Hasbro Transformers Robots in Disguise Steel Jaw. This would be the Legion class, Steel Jaw by the way, or as far as I know, this is what the current class is called. It could also be called Scout class, it could also be called Mini class. I kind of like Mini class. But it is a smaller and hopefully a little easier of a robot mode than what we had with the larger uh, Warrior class, Steel Jaw. That figure was just riddled with disastrous effects. Still transforms into what I can only describe as Kind of a pickup truck lawnmower. I know a couple of people really enjoyed that that comment. Pickup truck lawnmower. It does also come with instructions as well. Same image of steel jaw featured at the top there. Not as dog-like as the toy would have you believe. Flip around the back of the package. Transforms in four steps. That's it. That's all you have to do. You can also download the app for Transformers Robots in Disguise, scan the symbol that's always very large on these toys, and then you can unlock... It looks like you can unlock a scythe, and you can unlock Steel Jaw. It's not recommended for ages 0 to 3 as well. It is a relatively small toy. Bumblebee was quite small as well. But we are going to take a break. I'm going to get this opened up, and when we come back, we're going to get a better, better look. Excuse me at the mini class, I know that's not their names, we're going to have a better look at Steel Jaw. Don't go anywhere guys, there's more heading your way, stay tuned. Okay, so getting a look at this very, very tiny Transformer. It is extremely small. It is on par with the Bumblebee that we've already had a look at, there's Bumblebee right there. They are roughly about the same size, Steel Jaw is a little bit smaller, but they are proportionately accurate to one another. Uh, in this mode, he looks a little less like a lawnmower, a little more like a pickup truck. The front is definitely more pickup truck, kind of like the jagged front of the bumper kind of gives it that look of teeth. And then the back, it's just, I don't know, it, it, it's not really so much a vehicle on the back, it's again more like a lawnmower. He has surprisingly peg holes on the tops, though he doesn't come with a claw weapon. In fact, even in the instruction guide, the instruction guide doesn't even list the uh, the little claw at the top. So I'm wondering what these little peg points are here for. Uh, we will certainly find out soon enough. It rolls really easy. Tires are... Oh, and hey, there he is right there. It's basically, you can see how he's going to transform. But uh, vehicle mode, I like. He's a very nice looking pickup truck lawnmower. <laughs> Okay, so to get this guy transformed, it's not really all that much involved at all. Usually with a lot of vehicle modes, the first thing you want to maybe do is just get the arms completely out of the way. Really, with the arms out of the way, you can separate out the legs. And uh, the legs are not as problematic, I should say, as the, as the, uh, the Legion class or the Warrior class. Um, but essentially what you're going to do is take, Spot's pretty much transformed it mostly already. You're going to fold the back down there to make his tail. Kind of just straighten out his arms, just like that. And just correct out his legs. I know that really wasn't much of a transformation. I essentially just kind of folded out stuff. But that's pretty much steel jaw. It's not really much to speak of. I, I understand that. It's not really much to speak of. But there you have steel jaw. Not bad. At least he's a little more together. I keep getting this tail out of the way. There we go. Uh, he's a li little a more uh, together, at least, than the, uh, than the warrior class. A close-up look to his face still reveals that kind of dog-like face that he had uh, with the larger toy, too. It looks a little more human, I think, than it does on the larger toy. He doesn't really have any arms to speak of. The arms are pretty much just the sides of the, or the insides of the door. But uh, there you have Steel Jaw. In the way of his articulation, let's bring the camera back a little bit. In the way of his articulation, 
doesn't really have anything in the head. He has some mild articulation in the arms. Essentially, his back, though, really prevents a lot of movement. Kind of doesn't really prevent it. It just is in the way. It's like a little brother that just ruins your day. He wants to be included as well. This back wants to be included, even though it just kind of prevents the arms from doing other things. The feet seem to do a pretty good job of standing. You have to kind of get the little tail in there to correct. The tail, like, for example, the tail doesn't, I find, stick out far enough. It doesn't really help as much as the Warrior Class version of Steel Jaw helped. You can do a little bit of correction in the legs. The legs are kind of already going to be bent. They're always going to be kind of bent like this, which is kind of a real shame. Also for your size comparisons, there he is next to Warrior version of Steel Jaw. I tell you one thing that they share in common is that they don't stand very well. This one looks like it could potentially stand a little bit better just because of his legs. This one relies a lot on his tail to get him to properly stand. But they're roughly about the same. You can see like this one has a little more of a human face than this one. This one kind of looks still more dog-like than this one right here. But they're not they're not award-winning Transformers, don't kid yourself. See, I can't even get him to properly. He can kind of stand, not so much. Oh, also as a side note for the um, for the uh, the Warrior Class Steel Jaw, somebody had actually indicated to me that the I didn't have the claws, the paws out far enough, and uh, I've already actually moved. I think I've actually already moved these out. These should. There we go. These pop out a little bit further. Still very problematic though with the shoulders. The shoulders just don't clip into place. But yeah, the arms at least extend out a little bit further than what I had before. But they're both still disaster toys. Kind of ask yourself, which one is more of a disaster? This one at least seems like it's a little more together. This one kind of just seems like it's more just a pile of mess. I think about the only thing that's good about them is the uh, is the vehicle mode at least is salvageable. The vehicle modes on both of them are decent. It's just a shame that to get them to any sort of decent vehicle mode, I don't know why the robot mode had to suffer so much to get to that. Like vehicle mode, I like the look of the vehicle mode. Kind of even reminds me of like a micro machine. The downside though is both cases the robot mode is just horrendous. This one is something you can easily pass on. If I think if you're going to get yourself a little scout class or a legion class, whatever they're called, uh, I'd probably go with Bumblebee. Bumblebee just is a more well-rounded piece. Steel Jaw, good in vehicle mode, just a train wreck when it comes to robot mode. Today's Toy Spot, another disappointing outing for Steel Jaw. Today we're having a look at scout class. Mini class, Legion class, Steel Jaw. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more videos heading your way. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.